There was a time not too long ago when 4K high refresh rate gaming monitors were so damn expensive, but times have changed. And if you're shopping around for the best 4K 144 Hertz gaming monitor for your PlayStation, your Xbox or your PC, MSI have got what you want. They've got what you need. And there are three tiers of MSI gaming monitors. There's the MEG range, which stands for MSI Enthusiast Gaming. These are the flagship models, some of which include QD OLED screens, and they do cost upwards of a thousand pounds. Then there's the MPG range, which stands for MSI Performance Gaming. And these are the more mainstream models, which are geared more towards performance and also aesthetics, things like RGB. And then there's the most affordable, the MAG line. MAG stands for MSI Arsenal Gaming. And that is what I have here today. It is the MSI MAG 274 UPF 4K 144 Hertz gaming monitor. And at the time of this video, this monitor is an absolute bargain at 449. And I have partnered up with MSI. So there will be affiliate links below this video if you wanna check out the latest and greatest deals. And before I unbox this beast, Let's run through some of the key features that you need to know about. It is purpose designed to be an eSport gaming monitor. It uses rapid in-plane switching, otherwise known as IPS display tech. It supports 4K up to 144Hz with a one millisecond greater gray fast response time. MSI does provide a PC app called the Gaming Intelligence app. And this gives you more granular control and calibration of the monitor using your PC. And one of the ports on board supports 65 watts of power delivery. And it has an official VESA display HDR 400 certification. And if you're a pro gamer, you'll appreciate the fact that it supports AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync. First out of the box, we got a USB-C to C display port cable, a HDMI 2.1, USB-A to USB-B connector, the power lead, a European power lead, a nice and compact power brick, a user guide, and also some extension pieces for the back of the monitor if you're gonna use this with a wall mount or a monitor arm. And look how compact the base of this is. Now that I've got it all set up, something that I appreciate straight away is the small footprint of the base. So you'll save desk space and your keyboard and mouse can rest right up close to it when not in use. Also, you get excellent maneuverability and some cable management, so that's nice. And if you already have a monitor arm or wall bracket, this uses the standard 75 millimeter VESA mount fittings and the adapters, as I showed you earlier, are already in the box. Now let's take a quick look at the ports. There's one DisplayPort 1.4 with DSE, two HDMI 2.1, which are perfect for PlayStation and Xbox. There's a headphone jack, a USB-C port that supports 65 watt power delivery, and it's also a display port, so this is ideal for plugging in a laptop. Then there's two USB-A ports and a USB-B port, and these will act as a USB hub for a PC that's connected to it. And I was wondering why MSI put a USB-A to USB-B cable in the box, and there's actually a good reason for it. You do need that connected to your PC in order to use the gaming intelligence app. And this monitor does have a KVM switch, and I know you pro gamers out there already know what that is, but for those of you that don't know, KVM stands for keyboard, video, and mouse. Put simply, the KVM switch allows you to plug your mouse, your keyboard, or even your game controller directly into the monitor. And the devices connected to the monitor can actually use those controllers. And you can switch between four different sources and use the same controls on all of them. It's a pretty sweet feature. The on-screen user interface offers many game-centric features like on-screen crosshairs, color profiles, customization options, and overdrive, which can reduce the latency down to a minimum. If you do decide to buy one of these, my recommendation for you, if you're gonna mess around with the overdrive, is test out all of the different modes and see which one suits you the best. For me, 
the fast mode is the best. I found that that mode works the best for Call of Duty and that's typically what I play. Something nice about this monitor is that MSI offers firmware updates that can be done via USB. So you could see performance upgrades and updated menu options in the future. That's something you'll only sometimes get with other brands. Now the gaming intelligence app brings a lot more tools to the table. And if you're a true gamer, you'll appreciate that the most. You can set out a bunch of different custom presets for different types of games that you might be playing. You can set up custom crosshairs. You can magnify parts of the screen, customize the picture in picture, and there's even ray tracing settings built in. The standard on-screen menu is laid out really nicely and comfortable to use with the thumbstick that's found on the back right-hand corner. It's easy to find, easy to use. Now, while we're looking at the back, you'll notice there's no RGB. And I think that might be a good thing because this means the monitor will use less power. And actually the power consumption here really stands out from the crowd. It's incredibly low. And RGB backlighting isn't gonna be a game changer for most people. But if you really want that, you might wanna look at the MPG or the Meg line of monitors if you really must have RGB on the back. So this one doesn't have RGB, but it's still got a bit of flare there. There's kind of a dark reflective strip on the back, which can catch the light if you've got any other kind of ambient lights in the room. Overall, it looks pretty slick to me. I like the styling. It looks futuristic. It looks sleek. And I actually do like the MSI Dragon logo. Let me know if you like it too. The display itself has thin bezels on the left, right and top edges and a little bit of a chin at the bottom with the MSI branding. And as I mentioned before, it's an IPS panel, which means viewing angles are very good here. In terms of color, the MAG 274 UPF supports 96% of the DCI P3 color gamut. The panel is bright with the brightness reaching well over the 400 nits that's advertised. I'm told the peak brightness gets closer to 500 nits. And just to give you some context on that, that's incredibly high for this kind of gaming monitor. Monitor. And I also like the fact that they put an anti-glare surface on this. So this makes this monitor ideal for well-lit rooms. Now I've tested this out on my gaming PC, but mainly with my PS5 with a bit of Call of Duty. And the difference this gaming monitor makes to my gameplay is significant. So if you're trying to find a way to get an edge and give yourself the advantage over the competition, this can give you that. And given the fact that the price point is now incredibly competitive, if you've been thinking about getting a gaming monitor and you're looking for the perfect screen for your console or your PC that offers eSports performance without breaking the bank, I do think this is something you should look at because the value for money is very good right now. And if you wanna check out the latest prices and deals from MSI, there is an affiliate link below this video. And if you use that, you will be supporting the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.